Hey there everyone, today I want to do a quick review of the Think Tank Street Walker Hard Drive version 2.0 and a thank you to Think Tank for sending this bag out to me for a review. I'll also be comparing it to my original Street Walker Hard Drive version 1.0 and my Street Walker Pro version 2.0. Let's start off by taking a look at what I carry inside the bags when I go down to Walt Disney. So this bag is pretty big, but it holds everything I need to. Let's take a look. One of my favorite features is the main compartment opens up with the one big zipper. Boom, you can show security, go right through the line. So the first thing I have here is my Nikon D850 with my 2470mm attached. I'll have my secondary body, the Nikon D5. I'll have my 70-200 lens. 14-24. 15-fisheye and my favorite 28mm f1.4e, great for dark rides. Some of the stuff that I will carry in the bag with me, but not necessarily to the parks, I do have my Think Tank Pixel Pocket Rocket, which is a great memory card holder, has room for everything. I do switch cards every day, so this way I can keep track of which ones are used, which ones aren't used. I'll have my camera battery charger. And the best thing that you always want to carry with you with the Think Tank bags, they do include a rain jacket, which is uh, made exactly for the size. This one is made for the Streetwalker hard drive version 2.0. Uh, basically wraps the whole outside of the camera bag, so if you're caught in a torrential downpour, it won't get wet. One of the main things that's nice about this camera bag is that it has the nice thick straps on the back for when you're carrying for a long day. 14, 15 hour days with a bag that has mediocre straps will start to wear. After a couple days, you will feel it. You will have back pains, you will have shoulder pains. This bag also has a 13.3 inch laptop compartment in the back right here. I have my MacBook Pro 13 inch Retina with a clear case on it. It fits perfectly in there. Also has room for a tablet in the same compartment. This compartment is by itself, so it's not inside the same compartment as the camera stuff unlike the older version where it kind of shares one main compartment. Another thing about this bag is it does have multiple smaller compartments for your other tech gear. Uh, you have a lot of compartments on the side. You have one neoprene pocket probably for a water bottle, a mesh pocket on the side probably for a cell phone, probably a charger. They're basically identical on both sides. On the front you do have a main tech compartment over here. Probably throw your wallet, some keys, your lens pens. You do have another smaller pocket in here. You can throw some stuff that you don't want loose flying around. But this bag is perfect for Disney photography. So a couple nice features of any of these Street Walker bags is basically what I mentioned already. The main compartment is huge. It's easy to access. You don't have to fiddle with dividers, especially when going through security. It's easy to load up and it's easy to configure. This bag is pretty much best bag I've ever used for Disney photography. I've used my Streetwalker Pro. Once they upgraded to a second body, I went to a hard drive. Um, never turned back. Loading is nice and quick, nice and easy. All these dividers are movable like every other single bag that I have. It's nice and easy to use. 850, 55, 7200, 24, 28, I'm sorry, 14, Fish eye memory card holder, and the charger. And that's not even loading it fully away. Uh, you have some room over here, other stuff. You, know, you can probably throw a speed light up here, compartments up here for your remotes, your filters, stuff like that. Actually, I think a mirrorless camera would fit pretty nice in here. And then throwing the laptop into the dedicated compartment. Fits right in with some room to spare on top. So comparing it to the Streetwalker Pro, it is a little bit bigger, it does carry a little bit more, but let's say I'm not carrying the second D5 body, I'm only shooting with that gripped D850 along with those five lenses that I have, the Streetwalker Pro will work perfect for me. The only thing it won't carry is a laptop. It does have a tablet pocket dedicated in the back area, uh, but it won't fit a laptop and I have tried it. The Street Walker by itself does carry pretty much everything here. It's a little bit smaller just by a tiny bit. 
You probably won't be able to get a D810 or a D850 with a grip on there, but if you have a non-gripped DSLR or even a gripped mirrorless camera, you might be able to get away with a Streetwalker, uh, the 2.0 version, instead of the uh, Streetwalker Pro. All in all, I think that this is one of the best bags for Disney photography. The zippers, well designed. The padding on the straps is phenomenal. I went in July and I had a different bag from a different brand. I used it for a week and it was the most miserable trip I ever had because the bag had the crappiest straps dug into my shoulders and it just wasn't good, especially going from rope drop to an hour and a half after close. It did not work well for me. In conclusion, if you're considering buying a camera backpack, Think Tank Street Walker series, definitely something you should consider. They have different sizes. You have the Street Walker hard drive, the Street Walker Pro, and then the smaller, the smallest of the bunch is the Street Walker. And when I say small, it's not small by any means. It does carry a whole bunch of gear, just not as much gear as the Street Walker hard drive. David Punch and I will be going on a trip in September where he will have his Street Walker, and I will compare it to my Street Walker hard drive. Uh, we have a couple days in the parks with it. Uh, look forward to a post review just to compare and contrast the differences between the smallest and the biggest of the bags.